Thank you for having me here this evening. It's always fun to come to Purcell. What does it mean to be a tribal legislator? What's the responsibility? Pressure's on you to create everything in your district, make it all happen. Can't do it alone. It takes teamwork to do some things. Also, I believe as a legislator, not only is it the political part of it or the governmental part of it, but there's a bigger responsibility. There's the honesty and integrity to be available to your citizens. And it's always, it's not just about stuff that relates to the tribe, it's things that relate to our citizens' lives. To be a part of when babies are born, or when there's funerals, when those are gone, or when they need things and they want for their children. It goes beyond just a job. And so I endeavor, as I am a legislator, I endeavor to go beyond just the job, but to form friendships and relationships so that we always have a connection. I'm always and constantly working to connect my citizens with other citizens, either in the district or out, that have things that they can benefit from, whether it be the genealogy thing or it might be their background in their jobs or what they need. So I've endeavored to put Panola District on the map. I believe the nation knows we're here. We're still always reaching for more. We want services everywhere you go, but you know what? When the nation prospers, Panola District prospers. When the nation prospers, every other district pro prospers. We have services for all of our citizens. Do we need to improve on them? Absolutely. There's always room for improvement, but you have to be accessible as a legislator. You've got to be able to get amongst your people and hear them and have a heart and see where they want us to be and what's benefiting to them. Not just what works the political machine, but what works for the citizens. And so I've really enjoyed my time as a legislator. I look forward to continuing in that role. I look forward to strengthening my relationships in friendships, in business dealings, and otherwise, because we are family. And you can't be family if you don't stay connected. So please feel free at any time you need to call me. I'm available. If you have concerns or needs, call me. If I don't know, I'm gonna to try to connect you with who does know because you, all, you need answers. It helps you make decisions for your family and go forward in those things. So as a legislator, to me, it's more than just doing a political job. It, it's being part of family and representing family and being available at whatever times they need. How am I doing on my time? A minute. I've got a minute? Oh my gosh, praise <laughs> God. Now, let's get more done. <laughs> I just think this group for letting us, to hold this, you never get to see your elected officials. And so it's opportunity to come and fellowship. Like I said, we're family. I'm not worried about what district you're in. I'm worried about are you getting the services you need? Are you getting recognition of, yes, I realize you all need things. And don't hesitate to ask those questions and we'll find out an answer. You have good ideas. Your ideas, what we turn around and share with the leaders of the tribe helps us expand those services for you. Recently, I had somebody ask, look, my mother was buried, but we don't need money for that, but we don't have any money for a headstone. Can we use that burial money toward a headstone? So that thing was sent right up the chain. Uh, the word came back, yes, you can, but it only said in that memo that it was like, if it's at the same funeral home. Well, it didn't say it, just like that. So to me, we're making progress, but now I want to go back and go, well, what if the funeral... 